about power power has to be be balanced it's the, the logic of power power wants power wants more power it's the logic of power so you have to always balance it. It's competing interests. Uh, this is what the multi well, potentially provides here is a uh, we are in a transitional period from moving away from the old bank order to a multi order order and this is a video which contains a very good uh, summary of of this uh, power politics uh, i mean yeah power uh, power politics um they call it the westphalian doctrine <laughs> uh, i'm learning about all of this stuff so yeah uh so here's a good video on where we are currently at general politically um yeah so i hope we can move through this process with us well you know without there being a global i mean there's already a conflict but i hope we don't move i hope uh, world war three doesn't break out <laughs> through this process of change uh, it's, uh, you know it's very risky because um, false flags and provocations and all of this i mean the west is going to try everything it can because it's run by these elites who are completely nuts uh and because of you know financial system <laughs> they fucked it up and they, they're hoping for a war, war to get them, get them out of it i mean you know, other people you know i think a lot of people understand this you know they're trying to engineer a war so they can uh, you know, bail them out from the financial catastrophe that's another video i saw that was a good one there Oh, here's a yeah, here's a uh, potential for. Is there going to be a potential for World War? World War Three. I mean, yeah, I hope we don't. Have, I hope that doesn't happen. But it's a struggle. It's a struggle. I just hope we can go through this with at least you know, like, because watching the video is. Uh, A pretty good video too about uh ah, I'll just do that. Uh, this is another this video is about um the, you you need a good 
military industrial complex to provide security for your national interest. <laughs> um, and here uh, you talk about, see the, the problem, as is mentioned in this video here, the problem in the, in the West, in the Western military industrial complex is motivated by profit. So they're interested in marketing and selling their weapons, whereas in the Russia, they're not interested in just just making weapons so they can sell weapons. They're interested in making weapons so they can defend their country. And I think there are different incentives, motivations. So um, anyway, like I said, in this new multipolar world order, uh, countries are going to militarize themselves because they need to protect and they need deterrence, nuclear deterrence. And they're going to become more militaristic because you need to protect yourself. Because if you don't have a gun to protect yourself, you're surrounded by wolves, vampires, and vultures. <laughs> you need a strong military to protect yourself from wolves, vampires, and vultures. And I'm going to just say that the West is the wolf, vampire, and vultures, and they're, they're, all, they're, they're all circling you, right? So you need, you need a strong military to protect you. Otherwise, you're vulnerable to being regime changed, internally destabilized or outright militarily taken over. So you need a strong military. Um, the West is already like, oh, well, well, the US is a strong military, but, you know, but that not, now they've... The, you, you just kept on bombing all of these smaller countries and they were selling weapons like, oh, we're the toughest in the world. But hey, wait a minute. Are these weapons really that good or uh, was that just marketing? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not saying they're not good, but you know, it's just them. They have different motivations. Maybe they initially, you know, during the Cold War, maybe they had very good weapons, but then maybe it sort of transitioned into this sort of um, selling weapons <laughs> for the sake of making money, rather than protecting, uh, you know, providing security necessarily. I'm not saying the U.S. doesn't have good weapons. I think they do have good weapons, but. Uh, right now, they are more interested in selling to make money rather than, you know, provide security necessarily. Anyway, uh, you know.